Well, good morning, and I wanted everyone to uh, share in this beautiful scene. What an awesome snowfall. It is just gorgeous. So we'll see how the animals are taken here in just a second. Check out this awesome <laughs> snowfall. And that pig glue kept the pigs all nice and... <laughs> what are you guys doing? <laughs> Those pigs are awesome. Well, we probably got five inches or more. All right, pigs. <laughs> Look at they're coming out of here. <laughs> what are you guys doing? All right, let's get to a little bit of grub, huh? Man, oh man, is it awesome out here. Ooh, I got a snow flick on my nose. Come on. I'm gonna give them some more uh, straw. And uh, the other pigs, because we're starting to have a, the beginning of a longer cold snap. It's not super cold, it's only in the low 30s, high 20s, but compared to what it's been, it, it's cold. All right, let's get to feeding some animals. I, I want you all to see an amazing thing. This wild cat that we've had in our barn for a couple years has finally I finally have it uh, trusting me enough that I can pet it every time I feed it. In fact, uh, she insists on it, so let's see if it works today. I'll still wear gloves because you don't know how angry this cat gets and how quick. But she's been kind of cool lately. Let's see how it goes. And that's all I can give her, and then she goes to eating. See? But it's a start, right? It's progress. Love it. Okay, so now that there's a heavy snow on the ground, uh, the pigs can't forage at all. So I'm going to supplement their regular food in this bucket uh, with my leftover alfalfa. and some boss, black oil sunflower seeds. Now, as a treat today, we have some uh, throwaways from the kitchen. Some apples, cheese, and uh, pretzels. So we're gonna, I'm gonna just throw that in there. That's not an everyday thing, but it's just a little treat for today. So I just wanted to, in the winter time, they don't have access to their regular food supply, grass, uh, so I supplement it as best I can with alfalfa, sunflower seeds, and, and, and the, uh, the treats that I can give them. So this snow is so thick, I can't even see one of their uh, food bowls, one of the pig's food bowls. So I gotta try to find it before I give them any food. And then I'm gonna give them that awesome concoction. What did you do with your food dish, kiddo? Found it. Man, it was buried. Come on, guys. Come on. I'm I'm Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> I know they're gonna love this. Oh yeah. Look at what Mother Nature did. These branches don't even come close to the ground in the summer, but the snow has weighted them down so much that they're almost touching the ground. The pigs have to, you know, brush, brush through the limbs whenever they walk by. It's tons of snow on them. But what that has done has <laughs> been a good thing for the goats because they don't have anything to browse on. Uh, when the snow is heavy like this, just like the pigs. So these branches were weighted down and you can see they've been climbing up on this pallet that's eating these, this evergreen. And those branches out there are all, you know, touching the ground. So the goats have something to munch on. It's pretty awesome. Okay, I have three cups and 10 coins. How can I divide those coins up into the cups? so that each cup has an odd number of coins and I use every coin. Think about that for a minute. I'll let you know here in a second. All right, time to give the boars some of this awesome concoction. So I gotta get their food bowls first. Gotta find them. It was full of snow, man. Just... Alright. Hold on, let me get your other one. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Come over here. Come here. Come on. I'm coming. Okay. So, what does a lot of snow and cold temperature mean? It means it is time to put on the navy blue sexy silky long johns. <laughs> oh yeah. They are keeping me warm. Telling you what. Do a little walkabout. Look at that. Look how much of snow. Oh, here, you can look in the woods here. Look how pretty this is. Yeah. Dang on. Nature is the bomb. I'm coming, guys. You probably want some hay, don't you? The boys are a little bit hungry. They can't even walk. You still got a little bit of hay in there. What are you doing? Eat it up. Huh? What's up? Telling you what. What's up, guys? Huh? Keeping up trouble? Oh, no, no, no. no. Well, today was going to be the day that I moved Clover in with Pawpaw. 
but there's five inches of snow on the ground and I just don't think it's gonna work that well to do it today. I have to think about it because I use a hog panel and drag it along with her inside it and it would just bunch up on the snow and it'd be an impossible task. Yeah, I mean, there's always another day, but I hated it. I wanted to get it done today so I could have some spring piglets, but I can still do it. <laughs> so I'm gonna give them a fleck of hay right now, the girls here. And they always leave a little teeny bit in their hay feeder. And that's straw-like stuff that they don't like. But sometimes they leave a lot and it can add up over time. So what I'm gonna do, what I always do, is take that old stuff and sort of put the new flake behind it. That way they have to get around that old stuff to get to the new flake. And they'll still waste a little bit, but in the process they'll eat a little bit of that old stuff too. So it helps me a little bit save money. And they still get their nutrition, don't you girls? Come on over here. <laughs> sometimes I'll take it out and just spread it out in their stall. But I like to play a little bit of I like to play games with them sometimes. <laughs> Isn't that right, girl? Huh? Come on. Whoa, you're wet. Okay, time to try something silly. I have seen YouTube videos where people make an impression of their face in the snow and it looks exactly like their inverted face. <sighs> so I'm gonna try it on this little thing right here. You ready? <laughs> I don't know if I can video this very well, but I'm gonna just put my face right in here. <sighs> Uh, oh, I can't tell what it did. There's too much light, but oh my goodness, it's a cold. We'll look at it later when it gets shadow on it. <laughs> mm, invigorating. Okay, it's time to put some uh, fresh straw down in the pig loo. So here we go. All right, they'll find that fresh straw in there and spread it out themselves, so they're all good. I'm digging it. Don't you just love the changing of the seasons? How you can be out here in this exact spot and be sweating your took us off in hot, humid weather, and then again, standing in that same spot and be freezing yourself to death. I say it like it's negative, but it's not. It's actually awesome. <laughs> it gives you some variety and spice in life, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, forgot to show you the pigs. Oh, I have a little snack for them, so let's just give it to them right now. Look at that, even when it's cold, they can get muddy. What the heck? So, in case I didn't mention it, I am giving the 
pig some supplemental black oil sunflower seed and alfalfa pellets in with their regular pig food to make up for some of the green greenery that they're not getting uh, but I am also giving some uh, boss black oil sunflower seeds to the uh, goats too in here it's all mixed in and I wanted to show you these footprints look at that looks like my uh, my farm rubber sole farm <laughs> oh yeah now you understand all right goaty goats let's have some grub so what you do with the 10 coins you put seven coins in one cup one coin in the other cup and then two coins in the last cup but you put the one with two coins the whole cup into the cup with one coin so now that cup is holding three coins <laughs> yeah man they all have odd number of coins in them now got it hey thank you for watching please like and subscribe to continue being a part of all the adventures and stories that happen on rubber soul farm i hope we can spend more time together on the farm but until then enjoy your animals and take care of yourselves